How do you look, Miss Dixie? We're on. Coming. Well, girls, keep the home fires under control. Shall we join the customers? That's what we're getting paid for. You're going to feel pretty silly someday when you remember acting like this. If I remember you that long. Oh, you'll remember. We're going to make sensational partners. Sure about that? Oh, I mean it's some of our dance routines. Naturally. Never any doubt what a comic means. You better settle down to it, Dixie. Looks like you and I are in for a good long run here. I've been training for it. I can keep ahead of you. Hurry up, Mr. Will, you're on. How'd you give me the This time I'll be good, please. I said no, I mean no. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to meet a blonde. A blonde? That blonde that works the dice in Kelly's pool room. Uh, maybe you know it. No, I don't know it. Hey, I want a blonde. You want a blonde? What kind of a blonde? Any kind. One like this, or one like this, or one like this. Just a blonde. Hey, how come you have all the luck with the girls? Because, my boy, I have something you haven't got. Oh, you got a magic thing there? A secret See this little article? All I have to do is wave that little persuader under the lady's nose. She gives me anything I want. Anything? Anything at all. Hey, sell it to me. Well, my boy, that's a very valuable article. My price would be $1,000. Uh, so long. Hey, lady, you left your motor running. Don't get excited. You didn't start it. I bet I could stop it. Hey, maybe I ought to buy that thing, huh? I thought you said you wanted a blonde. Ah, she looks like she's a blonde at heart. Here, here, you can't talk that way about that sweet, charming, innocent young lady. I was just trying to tell her that... Never mind what you were trying. Now, are you interested in purchasing this persuader or not? Well, it seems like an awful lot of money for such a small article. My boy, don't you realize the best things always come in small packages? Yeah, but before I spend all that money, how do I know it's going to work? Of course it'll work. All you have to do is put that little persuader under the lady's nose. She gives you anything you want. Oh, hello. Oh, there's never anybody around there with a warrant. What is it? It looks like a raid. I'm trying to get forced. A raid! Hello, hello. That red light's supposed to flash when the cops are in the lobby. Well, why isn't it working? That's well, but uh, couldn't you make it a little cheaper? Well, I might sell it in the neighborhood of $500. Uh, that's an expensive neighborhood. Well, uh, how much money have you got? Oh, roughly $400. What do you mean, roughly? Well, when you smooth it out, it's three bucks. Well, yes. enough of this nonsense now. Because I like you and because huh? you have an honest face... Murder. I'm going to sell you this little article for $100. $100. Remember, my boy, just uh, pass it under her nose. Just pass it under her nose. Anything I ask for, anything. Now you've done it. They heard that hand you got way down at the police station. Something smells fishy around here. I wasn't that light on? Because somebody didn't want it on. Look. Cut as clean as a whistle right here under my nose. And by somebody who... Give me your money. When the lights blank out, make a break for the cold shoot. Know where it is? I don't hang around the same parts of this theater that you do. Give me a kiss. In the cellar next to the vacant room and cut the end of the blackout. Not a chance, Brannigan. I've been saving up for this all evening. Hey, wait for me. in the wagon. 
I, S.B. Foss, out of my own pocket, have hired limousines to take you to jail. Three cheers for Foss, our boss. Yes, he came just in the niche of time. <laughs> Call in. Well, you didn't have to... Didn't have to what? Nothing, never mind. Wow. 